So police may soon have a gadget that can actually look through your clothes and see if you're carrying a gun. Law enforcement types, uh, well, they love the idea, but plenty of people say it might take surveillance just a bit too far. Mary Snow has the story. In the movie Total Recall, there was nothing Arnold Schwarzenegger could conceal. I got a lock. There. Now the stuff of science fiction is edging closer to reality on New York City streets. If you were carrying a gun, it would look like this with technology the city's police force is developing with the U.S. Defense Department. The device would read the energy of a person's body. Terahertz is a radiation that, in essence, comes from lots of things, but can come from the human body. What it doesn't penetrate is metal or objects similar to metal. And the commissioner says since the radiation can't penetrate metal, it makes the outline of a gun visible. The detector looks like this, and the plan is for it to be operated from inside a vehicle. Right now, these devices only work from a couple of feet away, and the NYPD is hoping to stretch that to about 80 feet. Just the possibility of using this technology is setting off alarms among veteran civil liberties advocate Norman Siegel. Your first reaction when you heard about this? Oh my God, it's fantasy land, it's Orwellian, it's 1984 coming to New York City, and if it takes hold in New York City, it'll ripple all across America. And that's not the America that I grew up in. But the New York Siegel grew up in has changed dramatically. Police surveillance cameras blanket the city following 9-11 and continue to expand. If this goes forward, the government will not only know where you are, who you're associating with, but also know what's in your pockets and what's in your body. The city's mayor sees it differently. Right He's been a strong advocate for cracking down on illegal guns and defends the technology. You can argue that's an invasion of privacy, but in the world we live in, uh, that's something that we just have to live with. The alternative uh, is, uh, is, is intolerable. Mary Snow, she's joining us from New York. And first of all, Mary, the NYPD handling uh, the legal issues, the criticism about privacy, what are they doing? Well, you know, Suzanne, the NYPD has been repeatedly challenged on privacy issues. And we saw the surveillance cameras, the eye scan eye iris scanners that uh, they had been talking about a couple of years ago. So is, this is something that is not new for the NYPD, and the commissioner is saying that uh, the department is working with its attorneys. But still, uh, Norman Siegel, you saw in that piece there, says he hopes to really press the NYPD to use this in limited circumstances. But, you know, it's still unclear when these devices would hit the streets of New York City since it's still in uh, development. All right. Thank you, Mary.